Okay guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial about making pads and the 3x oscillator for FL Studio. Uh, it's very basic and this is how I get some of my pads for some of my songs. So let's get started here. As you can see, I already have a 3x oscillator loaded up and I'm going to put it on effects channel 2 and we are going to call it pads. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my send channel 1 and I'm going to rename it reverb and I'm going to add a reverb onto this channel of fruity reverb. I'm going to turn the dry all the way down so that the signal is 100% wet from the send and then I'm going to turn the decay up a bit and I'm going to turn the low cut up above 400 somewhere and um, okay and in my 3x oscillator um, I've reset the uh, course tunes just right click hit reset right click hit reset right click hit reset and let's uh, set this volume even with the other ones and let's make one a sawtooth one a square and one a triangle we're going to need a lot of EQ on this because the 3x oscillator is really harsh on uh, upper frequencies. So um, let's go ahead and get an EQ on our uh, channel. And I'm going to go ahead and do something like this for now. And let's go ahead and add a fruity free filter as well. So that way we can have a low pass filter. Actually, we don't need the fruity free filter. We can do that within the FL Studio sampler. Okay, and now I'm going to start with the basic chord progression. Let's use A minor. Oh yeah, first uh, I'm going to turn my cutoff down a little bit. And okay, so we got an A minor chord here. Yeah, it sounds really horrible right now. I know. We're gonna we're gonna fix that up. And um, yeah, let's get rid of uh, this. And something about like this. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Yeah, it's still sounding really really bad. Uh, I, don't, I don't like using the, the built-in filter on the 3x oscillator, so I am going to use the Fruity Free filter after all. Okay, definitely not what we're looking for yet, guys, but we're going to get there. Okay, so click the 3x oscillator sample and go to the INS tab and then go to the pitch tab. Something that always makes my pads sound a lot better is when I put a pitch LFO on them that slightly uh, modulates the pitch of the oscillators. Uh, it, it's like a vibrato type effect if you want to put it in orchestral type terms or uh, other musical terms and I'm going to turn the attack all the way down I'm going to set the speed to two steps and I'm going to barely turn the amount up hardly at all I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit steps. No, I like two steps. Oh yeah, let's add some descend in here.
Not bad. Okay, now let's go from this one chord to a five chord. And let's do a first inversion five chord of this. Five chord in A minor would be E, G, B. So first inversion means that the third goes in the bass. So the G goes in the bass. And then we go B and then D. So now we have a one five progression. That's not what I wanted. Let's turn the volume up a little bit on this. Alright, now let's uh, drop down to a four chord. And a four chord would be DFA, but once again we're going to use a first inversion and we're going to go FA. D, and we can just sustain this note, that way we don't have to repeat the note. Okay, and uh, let's see. Let's try a seven chord. Okay, let's forget about the seven chord and let's just leave this uh, this four chord. Okay, now let's add a little bit of sweep to our pad. So I'm gonna go to the INS tab on the three X oscillator and go to the cutoff tab and I'm gonna turn the attack all the way down the release all the way down, the sustain all the way down, and the hold all the way down. And let's turn the decay about something like this, and let's turn the amount up. Now let's play with the decay until we get the type of effect we want. Turn the amount up some more. Uh, and I'm going to have to uh, turn this up. Okay, and it's usually not a bad idea to add a chorus to your pads either. Fruity chorus works, but my favorite chorus is the audio damage fluid. And I'm sure you can tell why after hearing it. some volume envelope on this and let's turn the release up a bit mm -hmm. 
Okay guys, I'm out of time. That wraps it up for the 3X Oscillator Pad tutorial. This is just a basic pad. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, you know, resample it, uh, put it through a noise gate, or uh, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, have fun, guys. Keep making music.